welcome to another new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the gift of whale. So the gift of whale is the last set of uh, rock and mika watercolors from Supervision that I have reviewed. So for the past three weeks, I've been reviewing. Uh, we have seen uh, fa Flower Fire, Ocean uh, Paradise, uh, and Mermaid Coast. This fifth gift of whale is so different from the rest. Um, that I think a lot of people don't really give it a lot of attention and I don't see a lot of uh, uh, reviews or, or, or videos on, on YouTube. But today we're gonna swatch this and I'm gonna go through what I think about this set. The first color is 331. So 331 paints uh, with the naked eye visibly um, like a kind of a burnt sienna, dusty rose bronze color. Um, and it's part of uh, the, the, what they call a chameleon color. Um, reason being, when you, when you turn the paper and letting ang like light strike on it at different angles, you do see that it looks, uh, there is some kind of a, 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 a top layer of blue um, uh, shimmer. And when you paint it over black, you will actually see that it, that shimmer is actually a blue shimmer. And when we uh, do this, do a separation using the um, paper, chromatography, you can see that there is no other pigment other than this mica, which has got um, like a dual chrome color because it looks a bit like um, blue on some some side, some direction, and it looks a dusty rose bronze color on another. The next color is uh, 332. So for 332, it's also in, uh, part of the chameleon. chameleon. Uh, series and it it seems similar to 331 it paints a uh, uh, more a uh, rose dusty rose color but this one is slightly more pigmented and more red in color um, and of course when you turn it tilt it at a different angle you do see that that shimmer that's on top it is actually a um, more more deep pink color um, in the dark it also paints a deep that 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 uh, violet color comes out more and when you do when I separate it on the water on the uh, via paper chromatography you, you see that, um, that, that that pigment that shimmer coming out um, really very strong as, as a, as a uh, dark pink color and the next color is 333 so 333 um, you know if you look at it straight on it looks the same as 333 331 and 332, just the dusty pink color, bronzy color. But when, when you tilt it, you see that the shimmer is more, uh, I would say like a mint green color. Um, you can also see that on the, when you paint, use that color on, on a black surface. Um, and when you separate it, it looks uh, like a greenish uh, bronze color in the chromatography. For 334, um, it is also similar. You, you get like a, a dusty rose color, bronze color, um, face on straight, um, 90 degrees when you look at it um, straight. And, and when you tilt the paper, it is a little bit more purple pink than it is 332. It's quite close to 332, but it's, it's more purple bluish. And when you look at it um, on the dark paper, black paper, it is definitely more purple, um, bluish purple than, than 332. Um, and on the paper chromatography, it yields something similar to 332, which is like a deep purple uh, magenta color. And for the color 335, um, it is when you look at it um, straight on, it is a pink color. And it has this nice um, silver, uh, light pink shimmer uh, on top. And when you paint it on a black uh, paper, it, you can see that um, uh, very, uh, fine, very finely milled um, light pink color um, powder shimmer on top. On the paper chromatography, it separates out into like a center um, of that pink uh, shimmer, and of course, there's a ring of of a uh, of a uh, very light pink color. Uh, it's part of a series called the Mika series. Um, the next color in the Mika series is three three six. So three three six is um, when you look at it straight on, it's a purple color, and when you look at this color um, on a, another angle, you do see that that uh, kind of a blue, and that that is also seen when you paint it in a and then a black paper. 
and in the chromatography, you see that uh, shimmer, the blue, deep blue shimmer, just uh, deposit in the center, and of course, there's a ring of very light purple color. And for 337, 337 um, looks straight on like a bluish silver color. I would say frozen blue. Uh, when you tilt the paper, you see that um, but silver sparkle and, and shimmer um, just, just floating on top. Um, that is also seen when you, you compare, when you paint, use this paint on a black paper, uh, that, that, that silver just, just uh, you know, it's, it's very obvious. And when you, you know, in the paper, chromatography separates out into a center of that silver shimmer, and of course, there is, and there is a ring of uh, light blue color, which is a little bit purple. Um, and then from 338 to, 33 to 340, they are all considered interference pigment. Those three colors don't paint. You don't see anything when you paint them. They are very, very light. So for 338, you see something like straight on. You see like a, a whitish cast, like a blue, slight light blue cast. But when you tilt the paper, you, you see that it actually looks yellow. And, and when used on the dark, uh, the black paper, that, that yellow comes out, that gold color comes out. Uh, when you do the separation on metography, um, it separates out into a center of that gold color. Um, and it's the same for 339. Like, 339, like if you look at it straight, it has a very faint tint of uh, pink, very, very faint. And when you tilt the paper, you see blue, like green, and, and on the black paper, it is also green. Um, and when you do the separation, you see that green in the center. And lastly, for 340, similarly, when you look at it straight on, it's nothing, it's faint. You see slight, very, very slight green. And when you tilt the paper, it is a little bit, it's red. Um, and that red is also seen when you look at it on, 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 the, black, on the black paper. And it separates out into a center of that, that red pigment um, and the ring of nothing. So this set of watercolor is uh, very, very interesting. I don't think you buy this set for um, painting on its own. It's really for you to make your own um, super granulating mica rock combination color. If you would like to make your own, do get the, the gift of whale because it is um, like a, something that you can mix with the, the, the existing colors you have. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Um, and yeah, I, I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.